Hey guys, what's up? It's Kimmel Kimmy right here, and today is going to be my setup video, which I said I'd do a couple of months ago, and obviously I've moved out now, so I've got a completely different setup to my last video. Well, it's not completely different, actually. It's more or less the same, just I've got a few more items, and it's a bit bigger now, because obviously a uh, cat lives with me, so or I live with cat, whatever. So uh, it's pretty cool gaming setup, in my opinion, but um, I'm just letting you know it was recorded on a phone, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, and the sound might be a bit weird and the picture might be a bit weird so i do apologize for that but either way i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll speak to you in a bit bye, -bye. okay so hopefully you'll be able to see this because i am using a phone camera rather than a webcam camera and it looks like it's focusing really weird and i don't know if you will be able to see it properly but uh, nevertheless this is the gaming setup and obviously i've moved in with cat now so that it's sort of like a joint gaming setup and it looks pretty cool in my opinion i really like it it's a lot better than my last gaming setup because i've got some new stuff to show you uh, hopefully you can see it though it looks really blurry on my phone camera uh, my phone camera is actually supposed to be a really good camera but it's doing some weird focus thing that i don't know how to bypass but um, yeah so it's sort of like an l-shaped thing like we've got two black desks there uh, that's like the middle desk no one actually sits there it's just a, a desk where shit goes and then that's my desk and this one is cat's desk so i'm probably gonna go around from right to left and just show you what uh, everything is basically i don't know why i've got that up but um yeah okay so down there is my computer but there's a fuck ton of wires and stuff so i don't want to keep the camera on there for very long and um, it's not the best computer ever it's just a standard uh computer i think it's got a quad core processor and uh amd something i don't know it's amd not intel that is all i know uh, i'll leave the specs in the description and stuff because i know people are all like oh what specs are your computer and i'm like i don't fucking know so i'll, I'll just leave them in the description uh, but it's an all right computer it does the job so yeah um the cool thing about the computer i really like my monitor it's, it's a samsung sync master i think it's a 24 inch monitor and it cost me a fuckload of money so it's pretty good it's really slim as well don't know if you can see that uh, it's a really nice monitor and up here is my little webcam which i thought i broke yesterday because because uh, of all the wires down there, my chair often runs over USB things and it run over my webcam one and I thought I broke it, but it seems to be working now, so it's okay. And over here is my little pink mouse, it's nothing special, it's not a gaming mouse, it's just a pink mouse and I got it because it was pink. Uh, it's a Logitech one, I think, and it's quite scrubby actually, I should probably get a new mouse. Uh, this over here is a wireless Logitech keyboard, which is a really fucking good keyboard. Um, the only problem is is that it's solar powered, like completely solar powered, no batteries, no wires or nothing. Uh, the only problem is is this room is quite dark um, at most times, so usually it loses power quite easily, but I don't know. It's, it's, I've never actually had it where it's completely run out of power before, so it's pretty cool, it's alright. Uh, over here is what I actually play my games on, and it is a Samsung 32 inch LED smart TV and it's probably one of the best TVs I owned um, I think in my, I'm not sure in my last gaming setup whether I had a 42 inch TV uh, or was that my first gaming setup I am not 100% sure but this TV is so much better to game on uh, I don't actually know why but it is I think it's gaming on a smaller TV like anything more than a 32 inch TV is a bit too big in my opinion but uh, yeah that's just me and over here is my new Astros I got these I think two days ago or was it yesterday I can't actually remember and it is the Astro 840s in neon pink uh, Lime XB did a really good deal on them so I'll link them in the description as well so you can go check them out uh, and they're so fucking good Astros are like I've always been a turtle beach person like I've always had turtle beaches but as soon as I had these I, I am never going back to turtle beach they're fucking amazing um, and this is the little mix amp that it comes with it's just the 840 mix amp thing I'm not, I'm not I don't actually know too much about Astros I've only got them two days ago all I know is that they're really fucking cool um, and over here is my little and over here, amongst the dust of my table, is my HD PVR Game Edition 2, which was actually given to me by one of my friends uh, called Moxie. She's part of the clan that I'm in. Uh, she was really generous and gave this to me because I've had two now and they both broke. So she gave me her one because she didn't really use it very often. Uh, here is my Xbox 360 with my Turtle Beach is still there. Um, I don't really play much 360 anymore because if you didn't know, I'm part of a comp team now, like a competitive Call of Duty team. And we've decided to fully move over to Xbox One because uh, hopefully competitive Call of Duty is going to be moving to Xbox One after March because of the Call of Duty Championships, which is, I think it's in March. I hope it's in March, otherwise I'm going to sound really stupid. Uh, but this is my 360 controller over there. It is really fucking dirty. <laughs> and I've, I've not, I don't really play 360 anymore, obviously. It's just, I still keep my setup though, just in case, because there are a few games coming out on 360, which aren't coming out on 
Xbox One, so that's why I've kept it. And over here is my beautiful Xbox One. Um, it's a bit big, it's a bit bigger than the 360. I actually prefer the look of the 360 a lot better, but uh, it is really nice in my opinion. I've got a fucking cool ass lamp there, it's just a standard white lamp and uh, over here is some of my controllers so this one's just the standard xbox one controller i don't know if you can see that amongst the dust and yeah there's really dusty really dusty desk it's, it doesn't help that it's black because uh, it gathers dust quite a lot but um, this one here is my brand new shark u controller um, a lot of people are asking about shark u like because they're a lot like scuffers in the design like they've got the paddles and stuff like that but i'll show you them in a second so that that's the front of the controller uh, he did it pink because I, I like the colour pink and they also match my Astro so I'm going to look hardcore as fuck if, uh, well, when I'm on my own in my little game self I'm going to look hardcore as fuck. But yeah, uh, I've got the black stealth out buttons which is what I had on my 360 controller over there because I think the black stealth out button things look really fucking cool. And then on the back is Shark Hughes paddle things which you can see here which they're pretty cool. I've got these configured to the A button and the B button and uh, they're really light to press like you can they're quite sensitive uh, which is a good thing in my opinion uh, you can change them I think though you can like I think you can tighten them out I'm not actually 100% sure uh, but there's also got trigger stops here which is really good for FPS shooters like Call of Duty and stuff uh, it's a really good controller and also uh, you get a free plane charge kit as well when you buy from Shark U controllers because obviously uh, there's no battery pack anymore it's completely wireless um, so he gives you a free play and charge kit which I think is really cool I don't think any companies do it at the moment I'm not I'm not sure if any companies at the moment even do paddles like like I know Scuff aren't even doing them at the moment so I think Shark is one of the first companies to do that for Xbox One which I think is really cool uh, and I'll also leave a discount code in the description in case you want one because I think they're fucking cool in my opinion uh, I have used a Scuff controller before on 360 and I actually think they're better than Scuff, but I don't know if that's just me. Um, Kat, who I live with, she was a massive Scuff fangirl, and uh, she used this controller and actually said it's just as good, and she thinks it's real cool as well. So, uh, yeah, that's the end about the controller. So, over here, uh, it's just a bunch of games, really. This is just where drinks go on the table. Why is it going really fucking blurry? Okay, there we go. Uh, this is just where all the games are like for mainly we've got Xbox 360 games because we don't have many Xbox one games Like we've had Dead Rising and Forza and what was the other one? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Son of Rome. Son of Rome is probably one of the worst games uh, I've ever seen like I didn't actually play it I Cap just played it and I looked at it and I was like I'm not playing that uh, So that's where all the games go and there is some medicine for when we get cold and coughs and stuff like that because uh, yeah, we're not really prone to getting it. I don't know why it's there. Why is it part of my game setup? Here's a calculator. And I don't know why a calculator is there either. And uh, some batteries and crap up there, which I don't know why I'm showing you. But um, yeah, I'm going to quickly show you cat setup as well, because cat setup is pretty sweet. I personally think mine is tiny bit better. But <laughs> I'm joking. But um, yeah, she's got a really cool setup as well. She also has an Xbox One. It's really cool that we've got two Xbox Ones. Like, we feel really lucky to uh, have been able to get two Xbox Ones and um, we've also got over here this little docking station for Xbox One controllers which means we never have to buy batteries ever again which is really fucking cool and um, they literally just slot on like this you take them off and that light will go off and you just put, put them on like that and hopefully the light will come back on which it did and um, yeah that's pretty cool there and this is her Astro E50s this is Cat's Pride and fucking Joy she absolutely loves her headset over there it's um the wireless version of my headset over there i personally like mine better but that's only because it's pink but the a50s are really cool if you prefer no wires whatsoever because mine have a lot of wires but i don't mind wires so it's okay and then we've got her brand new tv over here which i think we got last week i'm not actually sure she did have um a 24 no 27 inch asus monitor but she decided to go for a TV instead because uh, TVs are better to play console on, in my opinion, than an actual computer monitor. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's an LG one. Uh, I think it's 32 inch HD. Um, I'm not actually sure on the specs of this. I don't know specs of fuck all. Um, and this is her little connect thing here. I've got one which is mounted up on the wall. And this is Cat's emergency death torch in case any. Uh, Robert Oops, I think I might have just broke it. No, it's okay. And uh, yeah, that's uh, a torch. I don't know why she has a torch, but she seems to uh, keep a torch near her at uh, all times. Just I think it's just in case electric goes off or something. But I don't know. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it was a bit rushed, but uh, I don't have much time to record this before people come back. And then I don't want people to hear me recording a video. So I hope you enjoyed the video either way. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. So yeah, goodbye.